One year has passed since the Hong Kong protests first erupted. In the past year, you have been there for Hong Kongers, and now we need you more than ever. While the world has taken notice, freedom and democracy seem more unreachable to Hong Kongers than ever, as the situation on the ground continues to worsen. Now children are being arrested, the press are being explicitly targeted, and detained persons have reported being tortured. How did we get here? It started one year ago when a two million strong march descended on the central business district to resist a proposed extradition bill, which would send Hong Kong residents and visitors to stand trials in China. It later became a wider democracy movement involving Hong Kongers from all walks of life. When it comes to rubber bullets and tear gas canisters fired, the figure is in the tens of thousands. Each one of them could have caused lethal or permanent injuries. Arrests are often indiscriminate and excessively violent. Pro-Beijing thugs continue to walk free after bloody attacks on citizens. Protesters have disappeared mysteriously. And university campuses went up in smoke as riot police laid siege on them for weeks. Some say this is a revolt against China. Others say this is a battle for the city's soul. We say it is a fight for freedom against the world's largest totalitarian regime. While we stood our ground in spite of the erosion of autonomy and freedoms promised in the Sino-British Joint Declaration and our basic law, the coronavirus pandemic began to spread from Wuhan, China, and it now affects the whole of humanity. In response to global criticism, the Chinese Communist Party opted for wolf warrior diplomacy, which features economic threats and aggressive speeches by diplomats and state media. The coronavirus pandemic has also exposed the depth of China's influence on major international institutions, including the World Health Organization. The world simply cannot afford to sit back and watch China's toxic ambitions become the new normal. What can you do? Say no to authoritarianism. Ask your governments to rethink their dependence on China. Vote responsibly and shop conscientiously. Avoid technology with Chinese links such as Huawei, TikTok, WeChat, and Zoom, and use alternatives. Protect your own privacy and personal data. Meanwhile, we call on democracies all over the world to send a clear message to China. Freedom is not for sale. This is not globalism versus protectionism. This is a battle for liberty against tyranny. Fight for freedom. Stand with Hong Kong.